it was clear for us uh, either i am earning to pay my school fee otherwise shut shut shut, shut the education thing down so i was not paying any attention to anybody's sympathy neither their uh, advices i was like ah, who the hell are you to tell me and for me if you have imagined my childhood life i was not i have not cried Cry, crying was not my thing you had become indifferent indifferent i mean st- all those struggles people named those struggles and earning stuff too much uh, too my heavy things father leaving so oh. no, never cried but these things for a simple things right tears were coming that is when i actually saw this man called sadguru <laughs> yeah and that is how he came into my life he literally hijacked my life it doesn't even matter you like him you don't like him the moment you you find a reason in him the way he speaks that's it end of your life then i thought okay this program didn't work for me at least mentally i thought so but physically i was at 75 when I, when a lot of people were saying are you are becoming lean now you you look like a patient and trust me when i went to meet my one of my old friends she literally saw me from a distance and she took an auto and she left woman means you have to admit that you are sorry for everything that you did and everything that she did <laughs> then she said yeah you you are my protector no doubt you are my you you love me no doubt about it but why don't you express it for that i don't have answer Namaskaram everyone this is Neha and welcome to the first episode of my podcast If you are following me on Instagram you must have seen me acting in reels more there While making those reels I heard some really interesting stories from my team members there and I thought I just don't want to keep those stories just to me but to share those stories with you also so that there is something for you to take from them So in this podcast we have with us Dinesh Anna who is an isha meditator since 2021 and he is also one of my directors who has trust in my acting skills and who's trying to face lift shankar and pille which you are going to see soon so let's begin the podcast namaskaram anna namaskaram akka how are you i'm good thank you and you i'm good too thank you so we just want to know about you like how were you as a person before you become an isha meditator and all about your life like your childhood family everything yeah my childhood uh, there were some ups and downs uh, during my 7th 8th standard i guess so my father abandoned our family due to some economical reasons and all other so uh, so he abandoned us and from then i had it was clear for us uh, either i am earning to pay my school fee mm-hmm. otherwise shut, shut 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 the education thing down oh so um, even my brother it was a similar situation so glad we are only it's only two boys my young my elder brother and me mm. but we could somehow do those uh, part time things like uh, delivering a pa- newspaper or uh, delivering milk packets that was the famous part time during those days so i was doing them and finishing that and then you go to school so it was like 100 150 rupees uh, we used to earn for, uh, for the for those things per month and i used to pay that for school fee so that's how my schooling yeah it, i didn't discontinue my schooling the same situation even in intermediate and degree so all through my um, uh, education career i paid all the f- uh, fee but of course my mother was supporting all these uh, years uh, earning for the home needs so yeah it might look like uh, for me this was not a struggle actually so people were looking at me like and they were unless they were sympathizing with me i didn't feel that i was actually going through uh, a turmoil. struggle it was not a struggle for me i was kind of enjoying actually going uh, waking up early in the morning and you know and doing those stuff so unless somebody is actually sympathizing with me it was not a struggle for me so it was clear for me but th- this mindset of every boy that yeah during that age you know somebody tells you something then you're like ah, who are you to tell me that that's always there yeah so i was not paying any attention to anybody's sympathy neither their uh, advices i was like ah, who the hell are you to tell me but my economical situations didn't support me to say them say that in front of anybody so i kept quiet so so that's how my childhood is a little bit of my childhood uh but after yeah so there was kind of rage inside me that i want to earn some money so i thought money is the i i really have to earn uh, because uh, i went through those phases because all those uh, circumstances uh 
uh, yeah, you know, they, they deep down they sow a seed in me that yeah, money is actually success. That's yeah, yeah that's how it all went. So I started. Uh, you know, going into crash courses. Then I then I realized what is the easiest job somebody can do? Computer job. So, <laughs> no, I'm not saying this with a sort of belittling that job, but but that's how the boom has happening during those days. So I thought, okay, let me do this. Then I uh, somebody even even my neighborhood said that see this this is how it is. Once the father uh, left the family, once the head of the family is uh, I mean it is not there anymore. So people will actually look down upon you. They'll crack jokes on your uh, financial status and your uh, all all kinds of things. So these were coming, and uh, I didn't want to answer them during those because it it might not look practical. So I wanted to show, or uh, I really wanted to do certain things, and then certainly these voices will shut up. So I started looking for courses, and then I did some crash course of uh, networking, and then now I'm a network engineer, luckily. So from the past 15 years, I'm into IT job. So I'm earning decent income. Now, uh, so then I thought I'm successful. Until the last uh, two three years, I, I thought I'm successful. That is when I was also physically active in my during my intermediate days, my college days. I was actu- actually a, um, uh, a national level boxer. Oh. <laughs> so I was actually uh, I was practicing boxing in Nizam College and. Uh, so I didn't make a career there also, but during those days I was fit. Imagine just for a 50 rupee challenge, I ran 18.5 kilometers. That's called a half marathon. I have to complete another 1.5 kilometer to actually make it a half marathon. I ran for 50 rupees a half marathon just to prove to my friends that I'm fit. So I was actually fit and then slowly I stopped being physically active. I got married and then uh, things were pretty fine. You, you know what happens after marriage, those things. So you try to uh, act that you are actually happy and then some things doesn't go well, some things go well. So these things were happening and I was kind of decently okay, like earning okay and then family status and then all of things, all those voices who were saying, they're all coming, they all, they were all coming asking for advices how to bring my kid into IT job and all that. I don't know what I was searching for then. Until that point, I was clear, okay, everything was normal, mm-hmm. normal and everything was going well. Uh, I used to go to temples. I mean, I, I I never cared going to temples, but after marriage, yeah, it has become a ritual actually to accompany my wife to temple. So I was going into temples. In certain temples, uh, I was kind of um, having certain strange uh, phenomena inside me. I mean, like uh, looking at those, uh, hearing those sounds, the mantras, or just standing in the queue line, and then uh, it, I had goosebumps sometimes. And I, also, I went on Ayappa Mala. This credit goes to my grandmother. She introduced me to Ayappa Mala. And I had no trust about uh, what is this mala and I was just in the process. Just Wh- what is that Ayappa Mala? Ayappa Mala, you go on to a 42 day mandala diksha, which is like a, a rich, I mean, a 42 day um, sadhana period. Mm. I mean, it's sadhana period for me, but uh, it is a certain, uh, you have certain things to follow during those uh, uh, 42 days, like getting up in the morning at 4.30 and then taking a ba- cold shower bath and until 12 o'clock, you're not eating anything. So it's kind of, uh, for me, in my opinion, it was a detoxification process, mentally, physically and energy wise. Mm. But I didn't have that thought during then. I was only following it as a ritual. But the benefits have come to me. Even before I actually thought, hey, this is doing something to me. Mm. The benefits started coming to me. I was becoming more uh, like emotional. Like I was crying at little things. I mean, I was looking at little small things like a goat suffering from something, like a dog suffering from something. I had deep, I was becoming more more sensitive. Uh, so this was happening to me. I don't know. I, I didn't want to name it then and not now also. So this was happening to me and all of a sudden when I went to the Shabrimala temple, people were saying, oh, look at that star. That star is coming and I like, ah, it's all fake. Yeah, This is just people just say. And I was looking at it. Some star was actually going up. I was dumbstruck. I was really seeing a star moving up. I don't know what to name it. And then I, uh, then I paid a little more attention. Then all of a sudden, Jyoti comes. Okay. There's something called Jyoti that comes. And people are saying, oh, this Jyoti coming. I looked at it and the moment it, the, the fire lit up, imagine the whole people on the hill, they just started shouting only one thing. Doesn't matter which language you are, it is always Swami Sharanamayappa. They all shouted Swami Sharanamayappa and once, boom, I, I don't know where I went. It felt like somebody just pats me on my back, something will leave my body. <laughs> That's how I felt. It was too huge for me to take. And I realized that the tears were actually flowing into my mouth. Only when the taste of salt has come in my mouth, I realized it's actually tears. This is giving so, me goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a huge experience. I don't know. That experience has happened in, during my intermediate. 
so after that i i maybe that is when the seed actually got sowed so i i kept it like that i i didn't i didn't continue it but then after that uh, after during going to some temples a, a small vibe of this used to come i don't know which temple what temple but when i got married and when, when i used to take my uh, wife to temples certain temples like sri shailam the shiva temple and then ahobilam narsimha swami temple they, when i go there when i used to go there something used to happen inside me which being wife is actually an emotional partner so she knows what what is going inside you she used to look at me and say something you're behaving a little weird in these areas so, so i try to map it where am i where am where is this initially i thought this is a joke <laughs> but then later i i figured out okay let's let's now take this a little more seriously and then i started putting it in paper and then i realized this is actually happening more in shiva temples and some devi temples and some uh, narasimha temple so more or less rudra forms of uh, deities so which is so then i thought okay then i didn't even construct a story then i f- okay left let's leave it not not proceed further then somehow i was fit uh, yeah coming back to the story so i um i registered i mean i was watching youtube uh, videos and why am i watching youtube videos is i mean for some fun elements i was watching so once i heard the shiva tandav stotram it kind of created the same vibe in me and i was not in a temple i was just sitting in a cab i was cracking jokes with everybody i was it's a call center employee so the jokes would be <laughs> a little more uh, above uh, uh, some threshold so <laughs> so the cab jokes were all kinds of jokes and all of a sudden i heard this in my earphones and then suddenly this has happened to me you were hearing shiv tandav stotram for the first time yeah, for the first time and it is in the playlist i don't know i have not even selected it it's just come automatically, automatically. and i hear it and it suddenly drew my attention and those vibes have come so i wanted to be sure am i hallucinating or i this is happening so like i said okay cab driver ko stop karne ke liye bola i asked him to stop and then i've got down the cab it's like 2 km away from my home he said why are you getting down here 2 km i said okay fine i just wanted to be myself be with myself mm-hmm. i was walking it's like 7 pm or 8 pm in the night i uh, somewhere like that and i was watching the moon that is the first time i actually watched the moon now it might sound a little strange but yeah the moon is ev- there every day but your the mood is not there the moon is there correct correct so you you i was looking at the moon and i saw hey, what a beautiful phenomena the moon is there and i have not watched this since these days so and all these vibes hearing the tandav stotram tears just came i mean involuntarily and for me if you have imagined my childhood life i was not i have not cried i mean cry, crying was not my thing you had become indifferent indifferent i mean st- all those struggles people named those struggles and earning stuff too much uh, to my heavy things father leaving so I'll n- never cried but these things for a simple things tears were coming so i really wanted to share with this with somebody i told my wife this happened uh, okay that that also buried the story also buried and then i was watching shiva is something that that kept it that that fell in my mind so i was searching for shiva then i heard nahi shiva sneha na tu shiva prema if you have heard this song uh, this is penned down by sadguru mm-hmm. so that is when sadguru Um, has entered yeah. into the into the scene yeah. so i was just watching then nahi shiva sneha then i was reading the meaning of it somebody wrote a uh, meaning of that in the youtube comments so you you go to certain god a certain deity if you want something mm. i am here standing here which i felt like all my personal accomplishments that were in my mind are done mm. i proved uh, i am like a f- well settled which i thought i am fit everything is well i have kids mm. but now i am at this point if you go to a god you want something but if you come to shiva if you, you should be ready to leave something yes because shiva is not the one who will give you something see for example i am now sitting on this chair mm. let's say if my spine is straight i don't have back pain mm. i don't need this chair i don't need the back rest so if you are going to a deity with a back pain that god might take uh, that god might give you a chair but if you go to shiva he'll he'll take away your spine yeah <laughs> so then you <laughs> so you you are see uh, look at this carefully i was asking for money i was asking for success i was asking, because all these definitions were physical and material mm. but the moment i went to shiva i think i was asking for something more or beyond these things so somewhere in my mind i i was i wanted to uh, kind of go away from all this yeah it might look strange because <laughs> you're still doing physical things so that was there that longing was there i realized then and then i was actually crying the tears were just flowing mm. it's not crying i don't know what to name them but they were just tears just falling and the setting where i was 
present is it's actually office setting. I was sitting in office and everybody is there and there's a lot of everything kind of went numb. All things went silent. And then the moment I realized I'm actually crying, then I was like, I came into the physical world and I said, oh, why, where am I? Oh, what if my manager looks? And I was like, shocked. So that was kind of a trance state. I was, I went into trance, just listening to that song and the beats, mm -hmm. the sound sufficient. And then that is when I actually saw this man called Sadhguru. <laughs> yeah, and that is how he came into my life. He literally hijacked my life. Uh, I mean, no, no more personal life now. Either uh, so he's uh, deep down he has taken away taken away my life. I've heard so many stories of uh, Isha meditators and everybody's like you know Sadhguru makes an entry in a very dramatic way, <laughs> you know, yeah, in your yeah. life. He might, which I don't know how he comes, where he comes, to who he comes. So if he come to you, the moment you say I liked him, yeah. you're gone. Trust me. So I'm not trying to kind of give a warning, but I'm saying, see, the moment you, you kind of like this, uh, it doesn't even matter you like him, you don't like him. The moment you, you find a reason in him, the way he speaks, that's it. End of your life. You're gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, you're gone as in, yeah, you, you, are, you are now becoming fit for something else <clears throat> if you are with him. Mm. So he intruded. I didn't ask him. I was not even looking for a guru. I never thought I actually need a guru. And then, yeah, he started making sense to me. I was binge watching YouTube videos. I was watching next, 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 next. I mean, like the whole, uh, yeah, to be honest, I was watching some other videos <laughs> during my intermediate degree days. I was watching, I was binge watching some other videos, but now I'm binge watching these Sadhguru videos, which, which never used to make sense to me. Now the, I'm... The Western educated mind is not able to understand why it is watching... I mean, I don't even know, uh, should I, 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 why am I watching? I don't know because I had certain clarity, I thought until that point, but this guy with a, <laughs> with a white beard is making me feel like an idiot. Every video he's making me feel like an idiot, but I'm not able to stop watching these videos. Mm. Every time I'm, re I'm watching his video, the, at the end, I'm feeling like an idiot, but that is becoming more and that is growing sweet and sweet inside me. And then, then I saw, then I start, then I started looking in, in, into myself. I mean, am I really bullshitting? Yes, I'm actually bullshitting. I mean, I'm telling people this, that, this, that, and I'm kind of uh, thinking, yeah, this is it, this is it, this is it. And this, uh, this man says, stop your bloody conclusions. Be straight with your life. I was become, the more I was becoming straight with my life, my, my life was getting worse. I mean, all those things that were settled under the carpet, now they are, all those boots started coming out. They, they didn't let me rest. I was unsettled again. Now, I don't know who to blame. This guru has walked into my life. And this was in the year? 2019. Okay. I was watching these videos. And 2019, okay, I said, okay, enough of watching this man. Mm. I want to see what is what is there for him to offer me. Mm. Because I was a kind of practical guy. Okay, watching is happening. Mm. Tears is happening. Okay, I'm convinced. Yeah, but is this what we have to do? Just listen and... F I thought, okay, fine. Let's stop this nonsense. Of my Maybe I'm hallucinating. I wanted to take a program. Because I heard some programs are uh, from Isha Yoga Center are there to offer. I said, okay, fine, let's go. So somehow I booked a uh, Isha uh, AD Hatha Yoga program at Coimbatore. I have not, I don't even know where these programs actually happen. Mm. Then afterwards I realized that there are local programs also. But then I said, okay, let's go to Coimbatore. I said, okay, fine. I didn't even ask my manager. I want to take a leave. I never took a leave of seven days at a stretch. For this, I took a leave of eight days. In your Entire, entire professional career, I never took a eight days on a stretch leave. Even for marriage, for my own marriage, I only took three day leave. Uh -huh. My wife was like surprised. Yeah, because I don't know. I never felt anything as exciting as it could take eight days. So I said, okay, fine, let's take eight day leave. I took eight day leave and I was like, uh, I, uh, I went there. I was a fit guy. Why I even need yoga, I don't have answer for it. Just to explore that is this guy only talking or is this guy some, is giving also something. Mm. I went there, I sat down. I, first two days, I was like, you should actually look my clothing then. I was in, uh, I, I was, I stitched my dress. They, in the instructions, they said, you come in whites mm. and comfortable and loose fitting, like traditional wear. I was, I took all those eight pairs like a bridegroom. Or the Sherwani or uh, the Kurta, that kind of, okay, traditional. Hai. And then I like those um, pyjama, it's all sticked. First two days, nothing. Literally, they made me do nothing, just sitting and watching. 
I'm a fit guy and they also mentioned in the instructions email during the yoga your pro registration they said okay you bring some spray spray and relievers me who ran 18.5 kilometers who was a physically fit guy boxer and I'm, I'm a above average badminton player me taking pills no this is not for me certainly i said okay fine let's not take me. then on the second day evening i literally had fever just for sitting only i i just sat on the floor and my pajama the, the pajamas i i wore they the stitch the stitches started uh, how do you say exploding the stitches came out because my my calf muscles were bulging out and i i was an adamant guy so if you have uh, since my childhood like i said i had this uh, somebody challenges me i take it as a challenge now this now, my, now nobody is challenging my body is challenging me can you sit i was sitting i was more adamant the more it was paining the more i was sitting and then second day i i i said okay fine i'm dying but i wanted to take that struggle i want to sit because i was looking at some other people and they were like just sitting like this without a i said okay fine i also want to sit like that i was sitting and then second day evening i uh, it was enough for me but i still wanted to continue this program i asked some my ego didn't let me go and ask for tablets but i still went and asked i felt like i'm begging actually i begged for a tablet and i took a tablet and third day i was ready and then the journey started i was actually 75 kg at that point of time actually it was heavy weight for my height but nobody has complaints even one of my cousin he's a doctor he checked my body he said you becoming lean is impossible because you've grown muscle mm. i thought so and uh, 75 i was running i was doing everything and uh, my blood my hemoglobin was at 17.7 doctors advised me when i, I am actually frequent blood donor, donor also uh, so my doctor my doctor i mean when i was donating blood he said there is too much hemoglobin you have to uh, i mean how do you say you have to frequently donate blood and you have to eat meatless mm. and i was eating meat before also i was never fond of meat but i was eating meat it's a, it's a family thing we have to eat meat otherwise people would think that you have somebody has hurt you and you're not you don't want to eat okay. you, you don't want to participate in celebration a social condition it's a social there. condition mm. if you're not eating it which means that somebody has hurt you and you don't want to participate in the celebration okay so eating part of our culture part of our tradition so but somehow i stopped it even before i i come into isha yoga the moment the shiva thing has happened to me i left non vegetarian uh, so that was that has very uh, that has come very natural to me i left it not even once i had this craving of eating meat even people sitting besides me eating biryani and stuff never i had this craving like that i was and once i did this program mm. after the 8 days i still remember while going to the program i, I couldn't sit in the middle berth of the train i couldn't actually enter into the middle berth and sleep there it was bit little difficult for me to adjust in that small space but while coming back i was actually sitting not sleeping i was sitting inside that middle berth with my neck bent with my one hand from below my uh, leg mm-hmm. and i was reading a book in this eight days program your body became this much flexible i yeah it's amazing what the eight day program did to me mm-hmm. i can't imagine sitting inside the middle berth now i'm sitting and i'm actually reading the whole book somebody somebody saw me and he was also continuously noticing me the way i was sitting without uh, anything and he asked me how could you sit there and then yeah i had no answer for him and then i came back home i thought okay now everything has changed i was like in la la land oh my body is become flexible now i am also silent my wife actually tested <laughs> <laughs> so she tested my silence some things were happening at home uh, and i broke my anger broke some i was actually angry then i thought okay this program didn't work for me at least mentally i thought so mm. but physically i was at 75 when i when a lot of people were saying are you are becoming lean now you you look like a patient and trust me when i went to meet my one of my old friends she literally saw me from a distance and she took an auto and she left i was like surprised what isko kya ho gaya what has happened to her i was just coming there on my scooter on my motorcycle i was just reaching there and she 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 looked at me with a weird face i mean she just looked at me with a surprise and she asked us to uh, auto to stop and then she left and i i messaged her what happened to you why did you leave did i do something did i say something no no i don't want to talk to you uh, i i can't take i can't see you like that she asked me what happened to you she was thinking i had cancer <laughs> or something else which i am trying to hide 
देन आई रियलाइज अरे सब लोग बोल रहे हैं कि आई एम लुकिंग लीन एंड ऑल दैट एंड आई एम लाइक माई फेस हेज बिकम डाउन दो माई वाइफ लुक्स एट मी एवरी डे शी शी नोटिस शी सेट माई पैंट्स वेर ऑल्सो सेंग दे वेर लाइक लूज आई रियलाइज दैट आई एम बिकमिंग लीनर बट आई डेंट फेल्ड लाइक अरे समबड़ी बोल रहा है कि इतना ड्रास्टिक चेंज दे देर थिंक दे आर अटैचिंग दिस थिंग टू सम वन ऑफ द डिजीज एंड माई इन माई ऑफिस ऑल्सो दे आज मी टू टेक अ सेशन ऑफ हाउ वट इज योर जर्नी देर एंड समबड़ी in the train uh, this guy says that he has this gas problem this problem that problem and i was talking to him i am saying that i am only eating when i am hungry and all this and he says he was initially in a mode of actually learning from me but then he started teaching to me okay after half of my metro journey he started teaching me no no you should uh, you, your protein intake is not right mm-hmm. your uh, carbohydrate intake is not right you you are losing your micronutrients then i then i look like fool to him and then i started feeling like an idiot are actually i should take a session in my office and this guy is actually is supposed to be my audience he started teaching me and he is con- finally convinced me that i should go and do my test before even taking this and i said okay fine let's take because i am talk- officially talking let me take a s- test fine then i went uh, to a hospital uh, to a diagnostic center and i said i want to do my har- uh, what is this a thyroid test, thyroid test. Uh, sudden weight loss thyroid test and blood test and all that this guy was like he is like this much tummy see <laughs> i'm not insulting him but this has this much time and he said okay sit uh, yeah every test ho jayega you don't worry i'll take care of all your problems i looked at his tummy and i looked at him i am like energetic since morning and evening and he wants to take care of my problems <laughs> fine yeah, i mean this is how it is so i i went went through all those tests and he did everything was normal my hemoglobin was actually 16.4 16.6 mm-hmm. i was actually very very happy all through years with all those hard work and eating good things everything i couldn't achieve that mm. just with yoga it is boom it is it is normal again so yeah this is doing good things to me that is something that is clear for me physically it is doing mm. beautiful things to me mm. i was like energetic what is you what used to see for small things my wife used to complain are you tum ye sofa udhar nahi hatate ha to mai bolta tha usko let's do it on weekend abhi i'm busy i'm busy so i was sleeping for 8 hours Eight hours, doctor. For doctor, I knew, I used to sleep for eight hours. One hour for me also, mm-hmm. for that extra period, bed me rehna. So this I used to do. Now I am sleeping for four and a half hours, five hours, and I am starting my sadhana in the morning, and I am energetic. And then the night also, my wife said, "Agar is is my shelf chahiye." I used to do in my childhood days, like I said, I was doing different different things for earning some money. I was doing carpentry also with my uh, childhood friends. I was going with the, with their father and doing some carpentry thing also. so i'll know a little bit of making some shelves and uh, cupboards so my wife said okay when when carpenter comes uh, tell him to do this shelf also then i said okay why not do it? i'll do it she said, you will do it i said i'll do it now i'll do it it was like 9:30 at night i i started doing it i finished it at 11:30 she looked at me with utter surprise i could still remember her look on her face she was bewildered and she was confused is this the same guy going to isha center the same guy came back or somebody else so <laughs> that level of energy i had and that 8 days hatha yoga course uh, had a direct impact on your sleep quota on your food consumption yes. and your energy levels yes the food i used to eat three times for, and in the evening there is a snack also mm. that also i used to eat now it is only two times 10:30 or 11 whenever i am hungry i eat and at uh, 6:37 i eat I don't know how to answer these things my relatives were confused in fact i was also confused what is happening to me i don't know but energy was i was like too high in the morning it's so like i said whatever used to, some simple sofa moving used to take a weekend now i am doing something that was nostalgic in the childhood i used to do that thing now i it's come like to this to me and i was started doing it and i finished the shelf and and my wife was she, who she is controlling her sleep just to watch me how am i doing it with that intensity i was doing and she was utterly surprised and i was also surprised in fact mm. that energy levels so this has happened to me all eight day program and then i found this is a guru then i started accepting sadguru mm. until that point he was a guru i thought okay ye yeah, to so even somebody you watch you kind of kind of sometimes you read some vivekananda story mm. some stories you will get kind of a little hangover now this has become a practical guru to me so sadguru i don't like him I will be honest and there is no need to like him also why should i like myself should i like myself i mean it's not necessary once you become uh, see uh, straight like you don't avoid bullshit with yourself at least then you don't need to like yourself i don't like uh, i i self respect these things have gone in the past 
So, Sadhguru is something that is a gadget with me all the time. So, if I do something, I just think, if this is Sadhguru, will he, how, how does he look at it? So, this Guru is traveling with me continuously. Mm. So, he is there with me. This might sound a little strange. I never thought I would say this thing. Like somebody is with me. Somebody is. He's not possessed. <laughs> I am not possessed. But all I am saying is. Um, uh, he is no more somebody I want to look. I want to see. I want to pray. I want to uh, say uh, Namaskaram. Uh, uh, just by looking at you. Everything I say. No. He is deep inside me. He is actually hijacked me. Literally from the core of my everything. Except for my body. Um, maybe someday he will take. <laughs> Take away this also, I don't know. But yeah, actually, I'm working for the things that he's actually uh, uh, laid path for okay. somehow. So my personal life, gone. So during this phase, huh. when you were, you know, you started pursuing spirituality and mm. uh, Isha mm. uh, programs and Isha thing and all, was there any kind of insecurity among your family members about it? Like this person is literally going away, uh, uh, like a fear that he might leave someday. My, and my wife. My wife, oh. I, my wife, uh, when I, when I came back from the program, like the eight day Hatha Yoga program, I said, when I, I didn't know there was spiritual elements also inside it. I was only thinking of the physical well-being, which it was taking pretty much care of my physical well-being. So I was doing this practice continuously and then someday it happened so that I finished my sadhana and I was just sitting there in the, on the terrace and the sun came. It was beautiful. I just watched uh, like five, th six o'clock, I think, uh, five thirty-six. I started watching, uh, just feeling the sun. It was 8 in the morning. My wife came to check, did, did, is this guy in Samasana, did he <laughs> broke his arm or something? She wanted to just check. She, she came there and I heard her payal ka jo sound, the, the anklet sound. sound. They were coming and I noticed that she's coming and I was still enjoying it. And I had tears actually, I knew those tears were flowing. Just for the sun coming tears, which was like not okay before, now I had this, I don't want to explain this to anybody, I was enjoying it, it was beautiful. The sun and then the colors and everything. Just the fact that I am alive here, imagining that the sun has come. If sun just says, okay, no, I don't want to come today, I am dead man there, actually. Yeah, because we are all, like Sadhguru says, and it's a scientific fact that if sun is not there, in just four hours, everything freezes to death. So this guy has come. And I have not noticed this. I have other bullshit stories to do with. I mean, yeah, everybody has this uh, taking care of kids, wife, food, everything. Everything is happening. But this guy has come. Sun has come. And I'm not even showing gratitude that this guy has come. Now I have that emotion there, sitting there. I have that emotion and I was like, wow, this guy has come. I felt a little connect with sun. And the tears started flowing. My wife has walked there. And my, I, I heard that. I know that. I thought that she will wake me. And I heard that the anklets moving away. Okay, maybe she didn't want to disturb me. I thought then once I came down, ground and she was like, not even looking at me. I know the silence. She has a doubt now. No, not doubt. I know something she's hap something is happening inside her which she is not which she doesn't find words to express. This happens. Mm -hmm. uh, you you know your partner better. Everybody knows their partner better. So I know she wants to see something. She doesn't have words for it. So I, I went and asked what happened. She said nothing. If not, if she says nothing, there is a huge thing. <laughs> then I said, okay, I said, oh, time is not right. I said, I, let's wait and I'll ask him later. I'll ask her later. After some time, I asked her what has happened. I asked her a little more, trying to put my words and trying to fake my expression. Then things came out. She said, you're not watching Sadhguru. You're not watching Sadhguru. You, you Achha, she's, she's ordering you now, from she's now saying, onwards. Now onwards, you're not watching Sadhguru. Just stop that thing. Okay. So that person you watch and you're like crying, you, so you, what is the plan? You want to leave? Is that what you want? Oh, what nonsense is this? Are you just enjoying sun? And your sun enjoying? Sun, what is sun enjoying? What are you taking? She's like, what nonsense are you talking? I said, are you? simple si baat hai, sun, sun aaya hai. And I was like enjoying. And she can't understand this. Then I realized, are kya? What is this? I can't, I'm talking simple language. And she can't understand it. And she's fighting with me. And she said, no. Stop all this nonsense, become normal person now. I said, oh, normal person. Okay, fine. Normal person means what? <laughs> I didn't knew this. I said, you become normal person for this. You have to do this, 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 this. Mm. I said, fine, I'll not, I'm not doing anything of that, what you're saying. This happened for one week. Jagadatha, this was, this has happened. 
आफ्टर वन वीक ओके फाइन मूव मत बट बनाओ लेट्स डू दे लेट्स हॉट दिस हाउट देन आई सेट ओके फाइन शी हैज गिवन मी थर्टी थर्टी आइटम्स द लिस्ट आई स्टिल रिमेंबर इट थर्टी आइटम्स यू शुड डू यू डोंट डू दिस यू डोंट वॉच सदगुरु यू डोंट डू दिस कम टू गो टू आफेस ऑन टाइम कम टू कम बैक यू नॉट रीडिंग बुक्स यू नॉट यू नॉट टचिंग स्पिरिचुअल वर्ड आता है तो यू हैव टू गो अवे फ्रॉम इट ऑल दिस थिंग्स दीज वर इंस्ट्रक्शंस आई सेट फाइन and during that time when i went to ashram also i saw the sanskriti students isha sanskriti students mm. and i felt this is how one should actually live doesn't matter success no success somebody needs to live like that 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 i felt looking at those kids what is there in uh, isha sanskriti uh, would you like to say something about it why not see when i looked at those kids see what happens in schools in normal schools they put the bright students in the front they put some some students who are like in depressed in the back or something like this if even if you go to even if you walked into a science exhibition not every kid is like lively some some somebody is like this somebody is like this somebody is like over enthusiastic and this over enthusiastic kid you can't make him sit this is also a problem so this is all the children are going through during these days not everybody is like that they are happy but there is something that is not taken care at the fundamental level and i look at these kids it blew my mind just by the first glance what is blowing my mind is that they are full energetic and the way they were laughing the way they were running around in the ashram i saw them and i something is i don't know how to explain but something has taken away my uh, grief just by looking at them i felt like a lot of weight has come down from me okay i thought okay this is hallucination i'll want to watch them again i then i watched them the next time i watched them it even blew me in my face directly the girl who's singing she can be a professional singer on screen that level she's singing and once i was like dumbstruck i was sitting there watching and tears in my eyes uh, this tears business has become normal i was more in acceptance with those tears after that so i was looking and then uh, after the program after the morning prayer is done they they were winding up things and they were leaving mm. all happening like it's a programmed even no program will happen in such beauty and such care and such elegantly if it is just happening so i saw this i thought okay i'm going to put my daughter in here okay imagine those 30 list of items coming back to my wife giving me talking about sanskrit is a crime then <laughs> so she is like you are go- you you are some she is like coming in terms with it does this guy will leave with us like oh saint wala look like oh chambu pagad gaya that 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 pagad ke he is going to leave to himalayas If I bring that topic of Sanskriti, she will literally murder me. <laughs> so I said I kept it to myself. I mouth shut. Sanskriti was inside me. Bring so thirty items I have to do. Yeah. I said okay, do one thing. I said okay, thirty items you are ordering me. You don't want to do one thing. I said she just only one thing. Injustice, female dominance, many things. <laughs> so this this is domestic violence actually. <laughs> people say that do people uh, only men do men that, this is domestic violence actually 30 items for me and one item for you and only on a condition mm. that i do 30 items only then after after evaluating all those 30 items she wants to do that one thing okay. i said fine still still i'm fine okay let's do one thing you do inner engineering i said okay. until that point i didn't do i was only reading reviews i said okay fine you do inner engineering mm. because hatha yoga actually happens at ashram only once in a year if i remember it right I said, okay, you do inner engineering. Our time was too short for me because the amount of things that you, she, she was bringing to me, my wife was bringing to me. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't handle them. So she, I said, only you do inner engineering. So that was the first Telugu program in Himayat Nagar Center. And first the, Telugu inner engineering inner program. engineering program in Himayat Nagar Center. Hmm. So I convinced her to go to the program. She uh, she went there and uh, first two days I asked her and even for uh, even during that period also I had a fight with her. I mean, as in. Yeah, fight has been not a great thing, but uh, she was like, "What is this? There is nothing happening in this." Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, she, she even third day she complained that it's a seven day program. Yeah. The so third day she said, "I'm falling asleep in the program." So for for her, she was doing it out of force, no? Mm. Oh, she said okay. So she said, "I'm falling asleep. I'm I can't connect to it." And she 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 said not to watch Sadguru. I'm asking her to watch Sadguru. So. <laughs> <laughs> so she is watching with all that in the all those filters in the mind i said okay remove all those filters every time i am kind of advising her to do this and she is going against it and she is like becoming more conscious of my words and she want to do not do that mm. 
so she went there and she fell asleep and on the day of initiation uh, i think uh, that day i i felt a little more difference I, i felt a little difference in her she said it's fine that's what she said only that and she doesn't want to sound like uh, something paranormal or something out of normal has happened to her but she was at least this she said yeah it was good something uh, she felt nice on that day so she said uh, something has happened to her on the initiation day mm. and she felt nice that's all that's all she said nothing more than normal and everything else was normal in our home i could fulfill her 30 promises sometimes i fail and she she was also not doing shambhavi okay she was initiated but initiated. she was not practicing for like 5 days she did okay just she because she not complete the mandala just because she want to show that i am following you you better follow those 30 things <laughs> <laughs> five days she did after five days she was not she did she didn't want to wake up she said some problem something something and she wants to discontinue i said if you're discontinuing this i'm not taking to movie i'm not taking you anywhere mm. you have to do mandala she said oh why this new thing now you said you go there <laughs> now if you ask me to do mandala fine you you said 30 things i did it no you said to take me to movie i did i took you to movie it now why are you why should why do you want me to continue this <laughs> it is clear from here that convincing a man is easy but convincing a woman <laughs> is so difficult see this is a uh, woman means you have to admit mm. that you are sorry for everything that you did and everything that she did <laughs> <laughs> and i said okay 30 things i am doing and i did now you want me to do it every day every time you want me to do it you also have to do it at least for a mandala you did i i made her, i forced her to do mandala mm. but maybe at uh, the 30th day 30 or 35 days around this time i significantly noticed her reaction time has increased see there are some professional courses that say impact time and reaction time between there you have to take a pause this is some seven habits there are two expensive courses but this is happening naturally with inner engineering there is a breathing space as she was taking that space and she was saying as a mirror she said like it's okay it happens i like what you were telling me this I, this has come to me very uh, new so fine i was living with it i thought okay this has worked no this story continued after mandala also we have this and then i find i was then i said okay i want to do in engineering because i only did the idea hatha hatha yoga program no i want to taste it now so 2021 online i was initiated mm. i'll be honest nothing uh, only on the initiation day uh, some kind of deep thing has happened within me no uh, kind of vibrations happened inside me i thought i was i was looking at me again i was observing myself am i doing this just because sadguru is saying or just because no i i couldn't contain that it was burst it was just bursting inside me so this thing has happened to me i don't know what that is i still don't know what that is okay so this was bursting inside me and tears just flew and it was for a brief period of time i don't know what has happened to me i can't name it and then <clears throat> i started doing my mandala i also noticed some kind of calmness within me all these years i was doing hatha yoga surya kriya i was doing yogasana surya kriya sometimes i used to do yogasana um, surya kriya was part of, it has become just like brushing i couldn't even go outside without doing surya kriya so surya kriya was a every day every day thing for me and it's a deep restful thing for me and it gives me deep rest and i'm like on with surya kriya i fell in love literally with surya kriya but now this shambhavi it was not doing that great things to me maybe i was not able to perceive but slowly over a course of time just like how people said that you have become leaner you have becoming more this now people said you started becoming calmer and i'm not nuns <laughs> so the transformation was happening gradually gradually it was happening mm-hmm. and i i was like see if you are like here see just imagine this you are combing your hair every day you comb your hair but you can never say when your head has become bald <laughs> yeah <laughs> so this is like this so when somebody tells you are you up a gare bhai bhal then you <laughs> realize can you realize all those things that five five ten ten hairs every day ho, after you. washing you kuch nahi ho raha hai after some things become bald you don't notice somebody tells are yahan pe ek uh, airport ban gaya mini airport <laughs> then you realize ki a lot of things have uh, vanished now this was happening with me people were saying you are becoming much calmer mm. uh, uh, and i was able to trust me or not i am a network engineer and network means this you touch some plug something goes down is a huge impact mm. some server going down simple it's okay it's mm. okay money uh, some services going down but network going down all services are down it's a huge impact and for every big company there will be like one or two network engineers only this is a less less in demand job and you have to be highly skilled and you have to be highly alert 
um, the job demands like demand like i was like every time i used to touch something it was a disaster and i was known for disasters in my company wo bolte ke bhai kuch down ho gaya to first they see when something goes down in technical terms you first check the logs what happened to that system they first used to call me and say did you do something <laughs> i was more like that ki ye banda kuch kara hoga isliye ye, ye down hai i was like that people used to check what this guy is doing first check dinesh half problem is sorted if you find out what he is doing i was that disastrous at some point people were like very serious with me i i was the job was also in risk at the one point but then after doing shambhavi and uh, i was doing this and i noticed a little calm inside me and my compulsions dropped i was continuously focusing on something mm-hmm. matlab somebody is coming the distraction that the amount of see is, distraction is pretty simple thing you're watching something some to pop up come you going there and once you go there and there is something else something else something else you 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 tumne aur ek line pakad liya tum and by the time you realize that you went in a different line you come back it's already late here yeah yeah and if you're doing certain things of that focus levels like network thing you're doing some executing some change and something pops up somebody jumps some more ye yahan pe down ho raha hai and i'm watching this it's nonsense mm-hmm. so distractions are there everywhere but now i am able to focus continuously my amount of focus time has increased drastically so i notice this is also working not in my personal experience but people are saying are bhai tu tu focus you are becoming more focused and you are you are able to do things much more easier mm. and i i earned a fame what used to be uh, something that i planned a project in my company which i never thought i'll touch it because it's it's of that complexity i did it in like one half, one afternoon it's finished <laughs> and people were like people saw me and my my over offshore manager said that what what this guy has done can you tell everybody so that people will do the same thing <laughs> you must have seen do in engineering <laughs> no but then see i only speak out of um, authority i don't speak out of knowledge mm. something i know i don't tell immediately okay. but once i experience only then i'll tell people mm. everything everything i don't just say ha wahan pe padh ke aaye bol do nahi hota mujhse wo it's it's a too difficult task for me i cannot say i cannot fake once i experience and once i evaluate my experience only then once i'm confident i'll tell people okay so you did in an engineering online uh, the seven days that was also online and initiation was also online yes and your wife did in an engineering offline offline so did you ever discuss it with your wife was there some difference or it was like same how was the experience you see my wife is like tom and jerry <laughs> even if she notices she doesn't want to say even if i notice something she doesn't want to say but we were dis- so we were discussing certain things inside in engineering but when sadhana comes she's on her own on i'm on my own okay. after sadhana we'll fight no no doubt about it okay. <laughs> but during so sadhana time and all the other time something started becoming beautiful inside our own lives mm. the way i talk to my wife the way see some some things are here let me for example my wife cooks something for me and then i said okay fine i calmly eat i never used to appreciate before but she was like uh, this continuously there is this uh, i i think with this with every woman this is there they want a little appreciation, appreciation yes uh, so i never gave attention to that i felt are bhai i am her protector why should i even this is nonsense this is just faking i thought why should i even appreciate her for small things why should i do this why should i do that uh, i am take i will take her for there is love inside me deep but one day she asked me this question see our our uh, fights have become more meaningful earlier our fights used to uh, be Not like this things. they used to be like this i want to prove but now this has become more um constructive we were looking at things with much more care then she said yeah you you are my protector no doubt you are my you you love me no doubt about it but why don't you express it for that i don't have answer and i said okay fine we can express it then i was churning this inside my mind oh she made a valid point after a long time my wife started looking to me is very sensible <laughs> she's asking questions now these days and which are very valid very to the roots she's asking fundamental questions i was disturbed so that how my our life uh, these things were becoming more constructive and i started also looking at things much more carefully then i said okay every time we are fighting i am saying me you me you i said okay let's fight no problem but let's cut this me and you business every time you are fighting let's use the word we mm. 
language V. You say you scold me, but say V. Uh, how is it possible? It's possible. See, um, you are doing this. Why should I said instead of that? I gave an example. Why should we do this? It's the same thing you're saying. This came after in, in, in after engineering. engineering. We both did, and we both agreed to it. We never thought we'll agree, mm. but we agreed to this. Every time something happens, I never say you are doing this. I said it is not necessary for us. I say now, we shouldn't do this. Karke bolta. There is more inclusiveness the moment I say we. Yes. The moment I say we, there is more acceptance on the other person, and this has changed the way we fight. The change, the 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 way we take our decisions, completely from roots. It's changed. If if possible, you can also employ this simple technique at your homes and see how this will work wonders. And certain things uh, in my fr uh, after engineering, these are all after engineering effects. Hatha yoga thing, physically fine, happily sleeping, doing more action, fine. But after engineering, these subtler aspects have started coming into me. Mm -hmm. so, uh, in my uh, my wife's elder sister's home, there's a boy. I mean, their 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 kid. Mm -hmm. He used to vomit a lot. At nights, they were like very carefully giving him food. They, he was eating banana and vomiting. He was on medication almost all the time, and they were very careful. They were, Grapes, no, 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 he'll vomit. Uh, in, uh, banana, no, 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 vomit. I never pay attention to that story. I thought it's a part of their, uh, their, their life. I said, but after eat, when I was eating, I looked at him the way he's eating. I, 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 I feel shy giving advices mm -hmm. because I never used to take advices. So I said. Then I asked her, "Can I say something to my wife's sister?" And she was open to listen. I said, "The way he's eating, you make this, this, this change. See how it happens. You've tried all medicines. Why don't you try my advice? Mm. It's a suggestion. They tried it. Done. The medicine is gone. They are not using medicine anymore. The way he was eating, he was actually bending down on on this two. He was keeping these two things on on his lap. Elbows, huh? Elbows on his elbows, and he was bending down. He's gulping. He's not chewing food. Properly. I just observed this. Mm. This is a simple thing. Simple thing. You just notice how he's eating. Mm. I just told him that he's not chewing. Mm. I asked him. I I just the only rule given to him was remove the elbows, take a morsel, eat, sit and eat. Chew no chew no. Just relax and eat. Mm. Then he's now with proud. I can say yeah. This changed the way he's eating. The way he's now. Lot of things changed. The more these things are taken care of. doesn't mean that he's only the medicine is gone. He is attentively listening th to to me or to somebody now. In my own kids' life, also this has happened. My my mm -hmm. kids, they were like, uh, once they used to come, they were sitting in a chair, and we used to tell them their attention is just like a sparrow, whew, gone. Mm -hmm. You're saying something, and you're like you're speaking to a board. Mm -hmm. it, it it feels like that. And the attention. Then I said, ah. Huh? I said, okay, fine. This is not working. Then I said, okay. I I read it somewhere. I maybe probably Sadhguru said this. If you make them sit on the floor, if their if their posture is settled. If their legs are crossed and if they are sitting settled, then their brains are here. Okay. If the legs are shaking, the attention is gone. Mm. So I think the Western uh, now people look at uh, government schools like they are sitting down. Say, "Oh, this is shame, shame, shame." Yeah. No, there, there is a reason for doing this, mm. and you you make them sit. Mm. And my my I implemented this without even prejudice. I said, "Okay, sit. Let's try this." And after that, she's consistently her scores improved. This might look like a magic, but this is no magic. She is paying more attention now. I am saying something on the board. Aki matra, uki matra. Hindi. Hindi is for her as a foreign language completely. Mm. She thinks this has come from China. <laughs> no, she still thinks that she 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 is like. Sometimes I even feel like she has dyslexia. The words are flying for her Hindi, especially Hindi. Mm. She was like that. The Hindi come Hindi comes to her. She is like horrified. Her face, different feelings and expressions in her face. Now, once she started settling down, Hindi was becoming easier for her. Then she started saying, "I want to practice more," and she started making neighbors, Hindi friends as neighbors. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, she. It was her initiative. She said, "I want to make Hindi friends." Mm. I said, "Fine, wonderful." Now my parenting has even now it is zero. Trust me, this is this might sound absolutely ridiculous to some people who are watching. I don't even look at their notes. My my kid comes, she brings the bag, throws the books, everything is done and dusted. I mean, to. Homework, everything. She just takes my signature. That's all mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. My son is also similar to that, and their food. Now we don't even force feed the kids. Trust me. Mm -hmm. We wait for. We only make uh, manage their hunger. We don't make sure the snacks are available because snacks are like this. You eat, mm -hmm. they'll kill your hunger. So we wait until they become too much hungry. hungry. But if they are little more hungry, sometimes you don't know. You cannot. Sometimes this fatherly love or motherly love kicks in. Mm -hmm. 
mm. and you don't want to see them starved so they come and they say ah how i want to eat now i'm hungry i'm hungry then i said okay eat food i said no no i want a little hungry <laughs> oh little hungry snack norm what i do is i give them a fruit fruit yeah apple grapes whatever is a seasonal fruit mm. i give them and they are happy once they come to the plate dinner plate imagine my four third three starting from three years my son started eating with his own hands if they are hungry they eat mm. if they are not hungry you have to feed 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 now from this also all these post inner engineering elements yeah. they were settling down things but they were opening pandora box in other other social regions my relatives were ah this guy look at them he is saving money by not feeding his kids <laughs> nonsense things has started they are not able to understand basically they are not able to di- understand digest yes. accept this they were thinking that i am not taking care of my children mm. i used to tell them you don't you stop taking care of children <laughs> Okay so talking about your children I came to know that your kid got yes. chicken pox. Yes. And you went to a temple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. after 5 days or so something yes. like that. Can you just explain about it? See this is like this so chicken pox in the traditions and the in 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 the culture it it's like devi. Mm. Devi is coming to your home. This I'm yeah I had certain different um, understandings of uh, these rituals in in my earlier childhood days. Now I'm more sensible to them. because they make sense actually if you look at it so devi is coming to your home devi has come to your home which is actually viral infection if you say mm. if you medical terms says viral infection but see if it is just going to if we have not medis- uh, we have not given him medicine now so we there are certain cultural practices which we do which has come from generations so it's like this you sit make him sit on a white cloth or a, this is called quarantine now mm-hmm. so you quarantine him and you make him sit and you have to give him cold things I mean, not too much cold but the food should be more subtle or more easy to digest and so we have to keep him right on the fifth day you go to a temple and offer devi water okay. water with neem leaves this is what you need to offer i'm i'm not i don't know fully understand what but if it was me before meditation or before this i simply used to reject it mm. but now there are more subtler aspects to it so you offer water you offer neem leaves to devi to feminine energy and energy wise i see my kid after eating fruits and after following certain just lighting a lamp inside and lighting those agarbattis mm-hmm. just these things there the atmosphere is much more calmer now mm-hmm. so i thought this this is also making some sense in the neem leaves are actually coolants mm-hmm. so you put him in neem leaves you apply neem and turmeric paste and surprisingly my mom as a, on the fifth day when you when they used to take bath you have to give him a neem ball and a turmeric ball to swallow my wife my my mother said see it is a difficult task you giving a neem and you have to be careful i said fine no. he is he is taking neem and turmeric since he was like two and a half years or so hmm. he just swallows the balls no problem with him hmm. it's part of our practices yeah, see yeah, i was taking neem and turmeric he used to ask every day what is that you taking i want it i want it i said you take it you take it <laughs> <laughs> so he ta- he started taking them and now he feels like he's a man if he takes neem and turmeric balls so he was swallowing them it was easy for him he took probably just because of that only i think he see in the last 4 years 4 to 5 years he never had fever certain fever comes up it is not that he cannot handle it mm. nobody could make out looking at these kids that they had they have fever they play they do everything and they they, they have fever that's all just for the name there is a temperature reading they are active both my kids so that, and hence i'm saying parenting is zero mm. see if they are not falling sick they are handling their own stuff they are they are bringing toys they are putting them back what do you need to do parenting nothing just enjoy just their presence you enjoy they are they are running they are doing just sometimes they 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 break certain things it's okay fine if uh, you don't have to freak out if they broke certain things it's fine हम लोग खरीद लेंगे नहीं तो बिना उसके भी चलेंगे इट्स ओके दिस इज ऑल इट इज एंड दिस थिंग्स इन सोशल सर्किल्स दे आर नॉट एक्सेप्टिंग दे से आ यू नॉट टेकिंग केयर ऑफ ए किड हाँ वो जा रहा है उसको पकड़ो अरे भाई इज ए ह्यूमन बींग ही नोज वॉट इज वॉट माई ब्रदर ही इज सम टाइम अगो वी हैड अ लिटल फाइट बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू टेक माई किड ऑन अ स्कूटर ही सेज नो नो यू हैव टू टेक अ कार नॉट नॉन सेंस वी आई इवन वी मेंटेन ऑन साइकिल्स ऑल्सो नाउ ऑल ऑफ सडन यू आर सो मच केयरफुल <clears throat> but i i just an example i i i thought uh, mere kid ko i make him sit on a tvs moped 
and just pushed a little bit i was on a slow speed only just push and he was like carefully he is holding everything i said are this is a human being That's he he understands his survival mm. he understands danger he understands everything you don't have to teach him danger yeah correct so when this thing happened the chicken pox thing happened and you took your son to the temple and all do you think these rituals are designed in a way so that they can enhance somebody spiritually also like of course do you agree that our culture has been built like this that it supports our spiritual journey as well yeah to connect to this point i'll give a little story so lingabhari is the devi in ashram mm. and some people bring the devi yantras to their home yeah. so i i directed a short film uh, i had to go through a lot of things during the short film because everything was new to me lighting and everything i did it somehow but i had a nerve pinch also during those that period mm-hmm. every time i try to take up a new project of sadguru he gives me additional pain <laughs> probably he is testing me will you stand for it or no agree so i had nerve pinch it is a difficult pain it it's like it comes sometime it doesn't come sometime and sleeping is impossible so i had to go to set in the morning and i have promised somebody and location everything is free because everybody is working for a social cause everything is free and you can't take a chance of missing that schedule mm-hmm. you have to do it and i went there in the morning and this thing was paining and a lot of nonsense in my head i was eating nonsense i was don't know what i was eating when i was eating oil oily stuff full water everything is disturbed mm-hmm. i was too disturbed and i went to a devi puja home De- uh, devi puja i went there even uh, only after 10 minutes i went there full of disturbance matlab all this pain short film happening and then don't know everything is not mentally and physically even. mentally physically both i'm like Go on the roof touch ho raha tha mm. unable to bear mm. i just went there and sat there at the devi puja because everybody is already meditating i went there t- 10 minutes later and i was just i just sat there with eyes closed just this in 5 minutes everything got settled physically the pain is there mm. that is different mm. but mentally what is happening inside me this all gets got just get settled like i say i i am i have a habit of evaluating my own experience mm. i was evaluating my experience am i doing this nonsense no how do i evaluate my experience i say if some if my wife or somebody who has that ability to disturb me if they come and they they shout at me will i react no no not necessary to react i can still answer them which means i am calm mm. if i have an answer for them i am calm if i have no answer and if like ye kyo kyo bolega mujhe then i am disturbed yeah, this is how people react usually when yes. when they don't have the right things to say they they use abusive words or they are shouting or they are having anger it is just the small thing the moment an emotion kicks in if you cannot watch it mm. it takes over mm. so i was watching it see if you can watch it which means you are in control simple then i was evaluating my experience am i doing too much hallucination of devi inside my mind mm. this this is not even an image in my mind actually i was just sitting there meditating and doing this mm. following the program 5 10 minutes that's all settled and i felt like wow it's working procedure mm. so all these rituals of taking going to a temple sitting there offering water these are all designed for us for some purpose mm. probably they have become mere rituals these days i don't know i cannot comment because i have i don't have expertise there but these rituals i started respecting them respecting as in i only say maybe i want i, I still i'm i'm open for them now earlier i used to say no 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 this is all nonsense mm-hmm. now i'm open for them okay something it will do energy wise because i can see all the effects mm. so coming like coming from that background of uh, <clears throat> this this much drama at my home now the beauty is that my wife and my homely situations everything is now beautifully organized we don't have to answer to everybody anybody now we don't have to explain why I'm, uh, and luckily this is also on camera i'm saying my my daughter is selected for sanskriti yeah. that's really good congrats yeah. thank you <laughs> so she's going to go for that and lot of people are started now pouring out their uh, all of a sudden love oh, how is she she is sending her there see from the last one year they have never visited us no 6 months she is there 6 months she is any guess we're going to come back even if she doesn't come now all of a sudden after one from one year who didn't see her who didn't come to her who didn't, didn't meet her never asked anything now she how, how can you send this questions now i am not answering them earlier i used to now my wife is answering them we delegated that responsibility of answering even when i went to your home for the first time for the shoot that we did i felt some kind of calmness at your home yeah. i mean the calmness that i observed is not that common in you know all the homes to all the people that we visit now coming to the point that you uh, mentioned that you did uh, some one movie with the volunteers and all yes yes safe for the safe soil movement yeah so 
in isha we focus on volunteering a lot yes uh, do you think volunteering you know helps in your spiritual journey oh it helps you multifold see what is volunteering it means you are willing to do something simple simple si baat hai and even sadguru says this it's it's a fact volunteering means you are you volunteer to do something so the moment i say i'm volunteering which means that you are you are willing to do certain things so some things will test you if so it is going to test your will so are you going to break those shackles or are you going to do this it's a test to will see let's not let's be straight with us i am i said i am going to volunteer here something happens something stops you have to ensure that this is getting done you have to see that this is being done so volunteering is such an opportunity that it will test your will so if all these things i am doing sometimes it 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 will be above my capacity also some volunteering opportunities so yeah there i take a little lenience but even see everything that i do i love actually my meaning it's not that i don't like my job i'm doing it's not like that i i i'm i'm progressing in my job i'm, I'm progressing actually i'm progressing in my job i'm personally i'm also progressing if you look at uh, what all things have happened in my personal life i'm also volunteering now so this means everything is falling in place automatically mm-hmm. and volunteering is actually if not the regular thing it is something else that you you need to do you are not prepared for this and you have to do mm-hmm. you're willing just that, that just that that is your qualification you're willing mm-hmm. and i was doing it and it it really breaks all those shackles you have to dance on a road mm-hmm. for example yeah. save soul volunteering you have to dance on a road she <laughs> i'm not good with dance okay 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 dance so you have to dance on the road i i'm like what is this <laughs> dancing on a road and traffic is there and you have to really do a jig and there's sometimes it happens that you you're there and nobody is there to watch you still have to dance mm. even if there are few people you have to dance see you have to break that limitation of shy mm. ego who who is looking at me who is not looking at me all these things you have to just break them you just dance you went there willingly you have to dance you dance leave the result what happens let leave it so this these are every time you volunteer there is always a limitation to break mm. for me this has happened how when i was first volunteering for an inner engineering program that is when first i i looked at a person who who lifted the slippers mm. and took them and put them in order L- literally i had i tears in my eyes mm. i mean i it's impossible for me to touch somebody's slippers mm. this is how i used to be yeah even i was told that I, when i was discussing it with one volunteer so he said this thing and even th- uh, it touched my heart also that even if you are arranging slippers for those who are coming you, to participate in a program and go pursue the spiritual path this itself is you know so much helpful for them and Anything? this itself is a big way of volunteering yeah of course i definitely see if if i had to do taking those slippers look at it how many things should fall off from me mm, so it should fall off so that is what uh, i connect back to shiva shiva means what you you all the nonsense that you build you let it fall off mm. so that is spirituality in my opinion so you taking the slippers and putting somewhere means some large thing is happening inside you that is spirituality mm. so volunteering means what spirituality and if law, if this is happening how is it going to help yes if it is definitely going to help you become much more straight with your life you are going to talk no nonsense to people they are accepting you more so spirituality is not not like something that you do just with close eyes oh, no i in my opinion spirituality means you are enhancing your own stuff you are becoming more beautiful being okay. this, this everybody must do must do i say not okay. should do must do you said that you have not taken many leaves like just for the hatha yoga program you yes, took yes, leave yes. so you are like a workaholic person and now you have started doing volunteering also yes. so do you find it difficult to do your daily practices or you're like okay you manage it with your shambhavi practice i pra- see i cannot say i'll do all practices at once mm. some pra- i will not let any practice roll back okay i do some depending upon the time i have i do a practice certain practice so i am i am into all hatha yoga programs mm. and i am doing shambhavi also so depending upon the time i have depending upon what is the situation and how i do i, I pick up my practice i choose okay. but shambhavi is everyday thing mm. there's no gap for shambhavi shambhavi sometimes uh, yeah this it's a so, challenge it's a challenge you are in traveling in a train in a car mm. 
it's not possible so some practice i do some chanting at least mm. chanting is also not for somebody it's also you close your eyes you chant you settle down are you planning for advanced programs also or like you're happy I did with my, i did my bsp bhavaspandana okay see advanced programs is like yeah you inner engineering is just like the taste on your tongue you know there is something more but you do advanced programs oh you are planning you, for samyama samyama is the advanced program in yeah, ishasa are you aiming for that yeah it's it's not it's it it happens like this to me i don't properly plan plan i mean even for hatha yoga i didn't yeah. plan inner engineering also i didn't plan yeah. for me bhava spandana is un- completely unplanned this is just because i paid some fee just to refund i i have opted bhava spandana okay. it it literally blew my mind and yeah bhava spandana if you if uh, i say every every human being who is called a human they they should do bhava spandana mm. and trust me nobody no person in the world no management i mean i'm talking in terms of technical stuff no mba school no this school no that school no people motivational speakers can make a program and offer a program of that intensity it's literally a bold program i'm saying this world bold bold it's a bold program mm. if you are that bold if you are that adamant and if you are like ah ye mujhse har cheez ho payega you try bsp it's time for bsp i think for me <laughs> <laughs> bsp <clears throat> you are not allowed to speak anything of it you know, you don't even feel necessary to talk about it mm. but the experience is because i also went with this to the program mm-hmm. oh, everybody was talking about uh, bsp means this bsp means that i thought okay bhai itne sab log itna bol liye to it's like there now kuch bhi nahi hoga kyunki mera mind is continuously telling me ah ye kab aayega ye kab aayega mm. with that intention i went in program okay but it didn't disappoint me it, it gives what it it's supposed to give these programs are actually like support you will not fall down mm. never and this the the sadhana that you do every day it, it it's not like you are you have become uh, you doing sadhana and then ah oh, everything is settled in office and everybody is like ah oh, coming you ah uh, we want to listen from you no that's not how it is going to happen but once you do sadhana and once these practices that you go through you will see you are doing everything effortlessly but sometimes physical situations and social situations through challenges at you these challenges the way you handle them the way you handle the way you look at other person handling them there's a huge difference the way i handle it and the way somebody even at my top level who handles it i see a way difference much much i mean they might fix the problem somehow mm. but by the end of it he either he needs a a, a shot of wine mm-hmm. or a beer or he needs to celebrate he needs to go to a resort or something he needs to do mm. but for me i handle it i'm like ready for another one yo yo something else come okay come let's do so even in athletics also even if you're doing something mm. it is not how much you can burn energy mm. how fast can you restore mm. this is how it is you run you're out of your breath which me see anybody can run uh, you put your life see if your dog is coming at the back of you you will you will be a sprinter for sure you will you will finish 100 meters in like like not like usain bolt but like 10 12 sec- 12 13 seconds you will do if your dog is actually if your life is under threat athlete is not trained with a dog at the back but <laughs> <laughs> he is trained to continuously improve his breathing capacity this happens mm-hmm. so every every isha program is i mean every meditative programs are like this how fast can you recover mm-hmm. this is all it is if you doing 100 meters how fast can you recover mm-hmm. we i i can probably say i can physically also mentally also i can recover fast for example i had somebody has shouted on me for me to bring come back to normal conversation it is like 10 10 not even 10 minutes 5 minutes i'm like back to normal conversation i have nothing against him or her in all these things how this direction thing came in <laughs> see all things that you write like after retirement i want to do mm. see spirituality means like this you are you are fa- you are on fast forward mode simple yeah. you are fast forward mm. so the guitar i i used to play guitar everything that i touch something so i wanted to do at a later time of my life i want to do this 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 these were just dreams just floating and i like actually story and i look at stories and i try to relate it i kind of somehow live some stories so this direction was not even in my mind and i was working with volunteers somebody some i i just narrated the story and people from actually theater, some theater artists were actually convinced i was not convinced that they are convinced <laughs> <laughs> but i look at their faces 
I said, Latya, sir, so it looks like I'm going to make a movie. I couldn't accept it. Then I said, okay, let's try. I was looking continuously for triggers. When people say, no, this is not going to work. But that never happened. So I, I felt, I, 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 some meditators, Isha channel, they are also fil- in the film making, they are there. So somebody came and said, you're a director. A person called uh, Sainal Anna, he said, there, you have directorial understanding. Then there is no stopping actually from there. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a film. Big shout out to Sainat Anna. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I say this, I'm actually a forced director. Okay, but thankfully you are a director. <laughs> that is that has helped me so much to bring out my acting talent. So Thank you, you say that. But let's see, there's more to go. I'm not a, I still need to read some things about direction and I still need to improve some things in story making and all that. I'm anyways working. So too many things I tried. Uh, so this practices are helping me do them much quicker. Mm-hmm. So direction is also something. It was there. Some I wanted to do. Now that I I get opportunities, I try to explore them. Every time I learn, every time I see people, the way they look at, uh, they have different perspectives. And there's a lot more to learn. And uh, and like I said, I'm a forced director. I, I'm being framed as a director. And then I somehow I completed the film. It was also it was also good within the Isha circles. Yeah, there are. There are certain learnings from that film also. Even I remember when you called me for the first time that you have a requirement of actors and all. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, so, and when you uh, told me that, you know, I want to cast you in a different project, this and that, and I literally had butterflies in my tummy. <laughs> and I was like, okay, like a director is going to cast me in, in his movie and all. I, I mean, I was like, you're a very, like, like a proper director, I got those, those vibes from you. you no, know, to be honest, I'm not even a proper director now. It is just like I'm. I have understanding now. I'm just adding adjectives, nouns, pronouns to this whole phenomena. That's all. To, we have to make a language understandable to the other people also. No, so yeah. some like I. I still go with Saina Dana's word. He said, "You're a day. You have this." I said, "Okay, okay. I have this. I'm a director. I, I puff up my chest. Okay, I'm a director, <laughs> <laughs> and I walk like that." This is what I found really wonderful about being uh, being an isha meditator is that the volunteers here are very supportive they yes. support you in your journey and so it's a, it's 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 so easy to work with them i mean they are always uplifting your uh, you know spirit. mood your spirit and they are helping you in so many ways and you are also like that you also become like that you also yeah. start you know helping people in their journey so it is really wonderful working with volunteers is much much better than Working with professional artists, trust me, because I, I, when I, when I actually did a little audition with some theatre artists and all that, I actually did the film with some, um, with some theatre actors actually. And I'm not belittling them. Everybody has their own um, um, requirement actually, need a requirement. Some people want some fame, some people want some. But when you work with Isha, the, the volunteers of Isha, there are much less compulsions. Food comes one hour late, fine with them. Yeah, yeah, agree. <laughs> Some one hour less sleep, fine with them. No money, fine with them. Um, no, you freak out, they are fine. Yeah. You don't freak out, they are fine. Who See, you are actually working with people who doesn't have anything to say against you. So this is this is the people you actually want yeah. to work with. And also they can do jugaad. Yeah. You know, we, we can get fly. everything. <laughs> <laughs> on the fly, because every every intelligence is actually working there on the on the set. So something doesn't work and they're like, okay, let's do this, let's do this. There are ideas coming. And I had this experience that some, some I mean, just like this, I'm saying, not, um, so some some things doesn't work, they, they complain. Hmm. They don't own it. They say, ah, this is not there. What should we do? But here it's not like that. This is not there. What should we do? Do something. They are, they are doing something. They are doing, they're taking up the responsibility. They're taking, they're taking it up. They feel like this is our, our problem. Our problem. And there, it is your problem. You should have get it done. You should have do. You should have done this. You should have booked the dubbing studio before. You should have done this. You should have done this. There is more I there. Yeah. Here there is no chance of I. V. Yeah. This is not here. This is not here. Okay. Fine. Let's do this. Mm. There is more V. There is more inclusive work. Inclusive. But I I also say that we are not professionals as such. Mm. There is. The, but the amount of will that is being poured mm. is unmatching. Agree. So yeah. This is why I still, though my work, my professional life, my personal life, things happen at home, some matlab, some decisions I have to take, some, yeah, like I said, some Skriti, she's admitting now. So there are, there are, there are background processes that I need to do. 
there are more things my son all these things i'm still able to do and my mother doesn't live with us she's at my brother's place we too and we have to we are still managing it we are running the show mm. and i do things my plumbing my electrical work everything i do myself and all these things i'm managing and this is happening without a friction and i can't see it's like this i if i don't take care of this lot of things have gone south all these things i would have not done this is imag- absolutely out of imagination doing all these things together the uh, work this 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 all these things are impossible so as long as i do sadhana and keep this up keeping it like settling it it it'll do things and hence all the volunteers doing this group things are working is working okay i think with this it's time for a rapid fire round so i have few questions for you okay let's see how rapidly you can answer uh the first question one compulsion you got rid of as a result of practicing shambhavi mahamudra many not one only one one? one big compulsion food which is your favorite series in sadguru exclusive and why something i don't remember the name of the series but uh, it's about um, um death something related to death oriented series i don't remember the name can a 7 days inner engineering program transform someone if so how no it will not transform you i i say it will um 7 days is just something is inside you that's all it is the the seed of the transformation is inside you in 7 days or uh, 7 days you do everything will change no 7 days is that you have there is something that is given to you you have to take care of it for a certain amount of time at least a mandala if you look at uh, this, this this culture here on this land you take ayappa mala hanuman mala and everything is actually mandala ka which is 42 days which means even scientifically they say that if you want body and your uh, everything uh, should take one direction or if you want to change it completely at least 42 days on something you need to do so if you want to get de addicted from tea at least 42 days you have to leave it then something happens so that cravings will go in that sense uh um this mandala you have to do shambhavi just doing 7 days it's not going to transform you but it is going to give you a, a profound feel of what is coming your way it will give you that feel you cannot see whoever you are whoever you are whatever kind of mind you have whatever kind of evaluation whatever kind of information knowledge you have wherever you stand whoever you are in this 7 days sadguru or this program will not miss touching you from the bottom it will touch you but are you going to keep it for the next 42 days is up to you so you have to do that how do you feel when people say sadguru is fake <laughs> where is this idea coming from sadguru is fake see they read something see you look at me i just told you all my story mm. sadguru let's say sadguru is fake how does it even matter to you so for me what is the practice that is offered to me mm. it is absolutely real alive working functional and efficient helping me do more things so how can i even say sadguru is fake mm. he has given me something real which has made all my fakes things that i have bullying to myself see all i all i'm read see it's all that uh, how am i saying fake i'm reading certain stuff and i'm i'm th- i'm coming to a conclusion that this guy is fake that guy is fake see it is okay to have that conclusion you read you read something but can you read some, your experience you cannot read your ex- you have to experience so people whoever is saying sadguru is fake don't just fake yourself try it try a program see it for f- do it for 42 days then you say fake what would you prefer sadguru on youtube or sadguru books and why <laughs> preference books a little difficult sadguru on youtube is better how is sadguru different <laughs> see sadguru is definitely different he is in my opinion this is my take sadguru is the truth that is already inside you he is not telling you something that you don't know he is not speaking of mars or that is happening on planet venus he is telling you something that is deep inside you sometimes i might say something and just conclude some topic that is inside me just to have that comfort but he's he's opening that things for you he's opening it up and he's saying just be truth to yourself be be right to yourself so in that sense he's actually different because all we all we have all invested all our ideas and we have it is like this there's a, a 
a group of uh, a herd of a flock a sheep a flock of sheep there and there is some something else standing i don't want to name an animal but some some something is standing see this group of sheep this flock of sheep might discuss how ah, we are intelligent we are this we are that they are they can talk any nonsense but actually that is not the thing all that you read and all that conclusive things that you have about and so in that sense we have invested our time and our effort in thinking that we are this and this 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 but he is different because he is just that this that nothing nothing coated nothing painted mm. he is just standing there as is so he is different this is the last question and is it is a very important question okay am i a good actor and why <laughs> <laughs> no good is not the word you are an excellent actress <laughs> see why and why why is a difficult question to answer why are you a, um, see the the good part is i think uh, you have exp- you have experiences life experiences so i have never seen you actually acting or faking mm-hmm. and being a, yeah not so famous director but still a director being a director i see, i i like to see people doing their original thing it is actually inex- inexpensive you work with people who needs to act then it is a little expensive you have to go for more takes and then you have to tell them emotion mm. you have to, but if i am working with somebody who can immediately understands the emotion and they are ready to deliver more from their own experience this is actually value add mm. so they are actually excellent people to work with so in that sense i see you bringing you i don't ask you where your experience so, so if you are shouting on your <laughs> if you shouting on your husband or if that is the role that is demanding and if you are performing far better i don't know where it is coming from but you are actually living that <laughs> so you you are you kind of living that um, uh, thing so you are definitely an excellent, excellent actor so we'll see where uh, how we can improve uh, more things around it definitely so at the end would you like to say something to the viewers um see you have, if you have listened all all of this don't don't believe in it that's the worst thing that you can do just think that this guy this guy who has spoke for this amount of time all nonsense he has certain things for himself so let me try this so take up a small program whatever program it is fine for you there are also free programs on sadguru app and if you really hate sadguru don't even go on sadguru app okay go to youtube and do some basic isha isha programs. isha isha programs and take at least the smallest thing that you can take is free wala isha kriya daily 12 to 18 minutes this thing i think for us we can spend 12 to 18 minutes no problem at least that is the time somebody goes to toilet now it is yes. yes people who have uh, bad eating habits yeah 18 minutes is a simple thing even these days they are taking even phones mm. so yeah 18 minutes is simple thing you you can afford that 18 minutes you sit and do isha kriya 90 days i don't have to tell you anything and you can still like hate sadguru whatever you want to do you do but you take up a small practice do it for at least 42 days just like it's a it's a ritual here like ayappa mala or like keep it like this and continue with it doesn't matter what situations through I mean, sometimes you have to eat a snack some mirchi bhaji comes in the evening and you you have to maintain your empty stomach maintain empty stomach it's okay afterwards after doing sadhana you can still eat mirchi bhaji that it hasn't got that legs that it'll run away you paying you getting so wait for the time you finish your shambhavi or you finish your small program whichever you do you do you finish it you eat it you will see tremendous things will happen in your life and i'm i'm warning you that you will become more and more clear which means some people will start hating you your your friends might not like you because you are not normal <laughs> you have become you extraordinary become extraordinary these things will come to you but it's okay you are you are also uh, improving that capability of handling those things also in a much more easier way so it's fine so if you want to try it try it and then be happy so this brings us to the end of this podcast this was my first podcast guys i hope you enjoyed this podcast as much as i did and if you like it and if you want to see more of such podcast please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe namaskaram